click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends we'll discuss one question of stock ledger where we are required to calculate material consumed let us see how to do that we'll read the question The following information is provided by S Limited for the fortnight at April 2014. Stock on 1st April 2014 of material X 100 units at the rate of rupees 5 per unit. This we got information of opening stock purchases 5th April. 300 units at the rate of 6 8 april 500 units at the rate of 7 12 april 600 units at the rate of 8 then we have figure of sales 6 april 250 units 10 april 400 units 14th April 500 units. Here we are required to note one thing that purchases and sales are separately given. Dates are accordingly given, but we are required to record transaction on day-to-day -day basis, date-wise. So we are required to keep a track of dates of purchase and sales. For example. On fifth, there is a purchase. The next transaction is of sales. That is on sixth April. So we are required to keep track of that because if we miss any of it, then we cannot prepare our stock ledger correctly. Let us proceed to prepare stock ledger. Opening balance on first April two thousand fourteen, hundred units of X at the rate of five per unit. Hundred units at the rate of five, so the value of opening stock is rupees five hundred. On fifth April, there is purchase of three hundred units at the rate of rupees six. Three hundred units entered in quantity column. Rate is given six. Entered in. Rate column three hundred multiplied by six rupees eighteen hundred. Now we are required to record closing balance. We are having opening balance hundred units at the rate of five. Amount is five hundred. Fresh purchase will be recording here now three hundred units. At the rate of six, amount is one thousand eight hundred. So we have now two stocks, hundred units and three hundred units. Sixth April, there is a sale of two hundred and fifty units. So we are having first hundred units in opening balance. Those will be issued first. Total issue is of two hundred and fifty units, hundred units from opening balance. Additional one fifty units will be taken from second stock of three hundred units. One fifty units at the rate of six amount is nine hundred. Out of three hundred, one fifty units are issued here, so balance stock remains one fifty units at the rate of six 
amount is 900. On 8th of April, there is purchase of 500 units at the rate of rupees 7. So purchase is 3500. While recording closing stock, first we will have to record old stock 150 units at the rate of 6. Amount is 900. Fresh purchase 500 units will be added here at the rate of 7. It is 3500. So now we have two stocks, 150 units and 500 units. 10th April, there is sale of 400 units. Now first units will be issued from oldest stock, 150 units. Whole 150 units will be issued at the rate of 6 is 900. Total issue is of 400 units. So 150 units have we have issued. Further we require 250 units that will be taken from here. Rate applicable 7 rupees. It will be 1750 out of 500, 250 units are issued. Balance units will be 250, rate 7 rupees, amount is 1750. On 12th April, there is purchase of 600 units at the rate of 8. Six hundred units purchased at the rate of eight. Amount will be four thousand eight hundred. While recording closing stock, first we have two fifty units at the rate of seven. One thousand seven hundred and fifty. Fresh purchase six hundred units at the rate of eight. 4800 now we have two stocks 250 units and 600 units on 14th april there is sale of 500 units for 500 units first we will be using First stock of 250 units. Out of 250, 250 units we have issued from the first stock. Next 250 we will be taking from this stock of 600 units. The value comes rupees 2000. Out of 600, 250 units are issued. So balance units. Three hundred and fifty units at the rate of eight. So it is two thousand eight hundred. We have recorded all transactions which are given in the question they have asked the value of material consumed during the year and secondly they asked the value of stock of material as on 14th april 2014 here on 14th april 
we have closing stock rupees 20 2800 we have closing stock 350 units total value is 2800 In question, they have asked us to calculate also value of material consumed. For this purpose, we are required to take total of one column that is in issue column we are having sub column of total. If we take total of this, we will get the amount of material consumed. So it comes 7,800. This is amount of material consumed. Thus in this question, we have calculated the amount of material consumed as well as closing stock. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.